I wish this guy only stole and left my dad alive kwa sababu alimfungia na nje no sitoke no sitoke na no sitoke and there akukua na please yenye dad ange aweza kutoka kusikia si blood stains hata kwa milango kwa milango so he was really trying yeah, he was trying to help to come out wameanza kutusumbua jua tagaus ile mas at batu atutukua tumemuzika bwana yangu walikuwa wameanza kutusumbua kutuliza ni hivi shamba imeandikwa nani nini mko nayo yani maswali ambayo ilikuwa inaniokopesha mm-hmm. after kumuzika hawa mabrothers wake hawanjawahi kutupigia simu hata siku moja kutuliza justice ama ndanda zake was always the first one to call me in sing for me happy birthday even if he doesn't know the whole song oh. yeah has who can i feel bad sababu this october itakuwa another different one the first one yeah the first one that she is not singing birthday even how bad day even how old are you In the last one year you guys you have helped us solve a lot of cases. We came here and we said justice for baby David. Now the matter is before a court of law. We said a uh, justice for Abby. Unfortunately, no one has been arrested, but that matter is now in the hands of the authorities. We came and demanded for justice for Lucy's sons. Still the matter is before a court of law and today i'm asking you one more time to shout and scream justice for paul juguna when he came in that gate that you are about to see there he was just walking into this kitchen just to have a cup of tea but the man he had employed 3 months ago by the name fred acheluba followed him with a panga inside this place all captured in cctv and would slice him six times leaving him to beg for his life as if that was not enough fred had all the time to break into this house take a tv take a motorbike and even change in the clothes that belonged to paul njuguna unfortunately he left his id behind he would also tell his wife and child Waendange ndio awapate mbele after amemaliza ile kitendo alikuwa anafanya. He would also walk to that tank and wash his hands leaving the panga there. The question the family today is asking, did no one hear my dad scream? Did no one why did no one come to his rescue? Why is Fred Acheluba still anatembea tembea tu kwa hii nchi and no one has seen him and what can you be able to do to help fight for justice family members relatives are also telling this family to get out of this land because it no longer belongs to them guys on this special episode of tales of wanjiku I'm asking you to scream one more time for justice. Justice for Paul Njuguna, a dad of a dad who did not deserve to die, and justice for the kids that are here because this is their home and no matter what happened to their dad, no one deserves to suffer after they lay their loved one to rest. My name is uh, Immaculate mm-hmm. Wanjiko Njogona. Yeah. Yani yeah, ID, yeah. but most of my friends knows, knows me as Shiko Paul. Yeah. Uh, we are family of uh, my sister. She is called Yvonne Njogona. Mm-hmm. My mom is Tawawera and then now me. Yes. But we had uh, my dad before had another wife. Yeah. Wakakuwa me wamepata mtoto mmoja mm. that was uh, now is like a half brother. Yeah. But now the first born. Yeah akwa mtoto wa dad okay. wasn't dad's uh, legitimate mm. uh, daughter mm. so uh, uh, for me uh, i am a content creator mm. i i do more of travel content house yeah. tours yeah. i have a channel mm. it's shiko paul mm. and my sister she's actually studying yeah. marine and transport and logistics mm. in mombasa mm. my mom is uh, like a farmer i would say it's just like a domestic yeah. worker that's yeah. what i would say yeah. 
if it's a good way to say it because mm. she's not employed yeah. and um lean today i just want us to to talk about dad and get just his kujua what happened to dad mm. and everything about him yeah and our condolences even before we can start uh, yeah and i know it has taken me forever yeah. to get here mm -hmm. but i'm here now mm -hmm. and i know as uh, we were saying earlier when yeah. good people pass mm -hmm. they never become the past yeah they'll always even if they are not here physically mm -hmm. their memory will always be here yeah so uh condolences to you and your family yeah. in regards to dad mm -hmm. he is a good man actually he mm. was my best best person not mm. only a dad but was also a friend mm. a man that i uh, would say that i would ask anything and he would uh, always be there to support me either mm. emotionally yeah. physically there for me i knew that i had this one friend mm. at any cost say anything I'm, I'm i'm in i'm in where that i'm stranded it's just a call away yeah. and he'll be always there for me mm. or any time i felt so down mm. you know there are those times that you feel so down you want really? to talk to someone, to someone. Mm -hmm. my dad was always there for me and mm. i can remember kuna time i would call him and i would be like daddy unataki kuna pay attention maybe mm -hmm. kama nataka kufanya something mm. and he tell me kana ka kwa azin nikikuyu now yeah mtoto wangu, mm. yeah, wangu just um, i'm listening to you just tell me mm. it and every time i would walk out of this house yeah. and geni tembeza mpaka kwa gate oh man i was mm. in the two videos the videos and see me off or either take me with his bike to the to the town yeah. and make sure I'm in your credits mm -hmm. and one of those things that I always remember he was that person that any time I called angekata he would angekata simu and then he would call me yeah and he yeah because he felt like he didn't want me to use nini credit credits yako. yeah and remember sometimes if I do like a, a market because we also did tourism mm. sometimes you partnership with uh, some tour companies mm. and they want to market them in your Instagram yes. in my Instagram account yeah. which is shiko paul yeah. shiko underscore paul mm. with an o mm. and then um, dad uh, <laughs> So sometimes if I get it's emotional okay. it's okay Take your time. Uh, and then I would get maybe something mm. some tips mm. I remember I would send I would send to dad and sometimes angeniambia hapana mtu wangu jijenge like you see mm. but you'd be so happy if I sent him that 500 ah oh, uh, angefurahia and you know he didn't see it as little because I would tell him that ah go buy some meat mm. and our dogs because mm. because we, we love pets a lot mm. same case to mm. my sister and yes. everything yeah. and then the best thing is that they lived with my mom so peacefully oh. oh my god i could see sometimes mama ngenda kai chat sana my dad would be like uko wapi mbona hujafika like now you would tell mm. me like i call my mom mm. to ask her where she is mm. mean, they lived so well because Lin they got married. Yeah. They got married uh, uh, in 1999 yeah. January. Yeah. So you can tell you can imagine all that all those years wow. sticking together. Mm. She, he has taught me a lot like love really do exist mm. with unconditional means. It's, yes. Pure pure love yeah. and Lin si lazima upige mtoto like if I told you my dad has never hit me with any hata kuniorota hivi. Kuja hapa. Oh my god I didn't any time maybe if we had some argument mm. like ile ya mama you know yes. sometimes mom lazima kuwe hard mm. ndo usipotee yeah. you know yeah. uh, the, the, the lazima kuwe na uh, there is this parent who is a bit hard on you mm. but hard in a good way mm. you know I would write a letter and tell and tell her and tell my dad like I'm not happy mm. blah 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 and then he would reply back oh it's just the best of the best what what was his career dad was, did a public health officer oh. so he was a public health mm. and uh, he, actually he was on his retirement mm. so he got to uh, and relax too and um that was it so i retire in moranga that's mm. what he was doing mm. but part of it and uh, that's it that's it mm -hmm. what kind of a person was he the day loving caring kind i'm telling you he would watch stories and he would send he would like let me just send these people he was so kind and uh, he didn't want violence this person that if i got mad maybe he would be like ah, 
acha na tunayo hakuitaka mkigombana he just wanted peace mm. and he wanted to be on his own space and mm. the family mm. ikwe tu ni her mm. see as long as we're okay yeah. she's okay he's okay mm. you know mm. you, i just remember him even ni, when i was young he would buy me uh base calls any is it is it to bake to our yeah, toto eh to make us happy same case with my sister mm-hmm. calling her even sometimes maybe come at to na zozana ile sister maybe he would be like acha nini it seem it's it's normal you know mm-hmm. like the day is just amazing. was just the best and amazing yeah. and i love him so much mm-hmm. even up to now i feel like no one can ever replace that that love. Uh, love for him he had towards us he really if he said he really loved his families mm. he really loved because even in my f- videos the last videos nearly nichukua not even fun, content huh? creation but mm. imagine that and, and to kin kimuliza dad the marriage life now because i feel like come back for all those years mm. na meka na mom so i really wanted to know like what keeps on moving like yes. unjua ku, uh, what ku, makes a marriage hey, work work and, and the thing was like tolerance and if you find someone you are uh, when you natakanga mm, kwa mwanaume mm, ama kwa mwanamke mm, you find you find that person akona hizo vitu then mm, is the right person yeah. yani we would talk a lot oh, yeah, i saw you asking him ukichapo unafaa kufanya <laughs> nini cuz i believe couples would sort out the issues mm mm-hmm. by talking yep yep but not by beating <laughs> He was like I don't to relate mtu kupiga mtu mm. so your your bed is still here like you still welcome in this house yeah. and that's why he built this house mm. for us like he said at a unona there disputes that you usually have mm. and maybe you get mkosana na your husband and mm. you have kids you mm. said like this house was always welcome for us and to see a kakalia place nye mtu ana ku mistreat you know mm, like sababu ya kwa sababu if he didn't mistreat my mom mm. eh, why why should someone mistreat us mm. and even if he never hit us mbona ye mbona huyu mwingine atuki aku, aku, eh, so i just mm. love him so much yeah. and also we would have he would make birthdays for us oh, oh i have pictures in my jeans yes. kio watoto hivi wa dog would make uh. birthdays for us and each and every Okay, my birthday is on October 28th. Oh. So it's he, oh, it was always the first one to call me and sing for me happy birthday even if he doesn't know the whole song. Oh. Yeah, has who can I feel bad? Sababu so, this October it was another different one. The first one. Yeah, the first one that she is not singing. Happy birthday, even mm. happy birthday dear even how old are you? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. Congratulations. Thanks papa. For me, I feel so heartbroken. Sometimes Lynn, I am the love of a father they calls. Any I really miss them. Mm. I, and I feel the cup any. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like I can't nyongwa. Like sababu ya pain mm. and the anger, you know. And I remember everything that really happened. Mm because Lynn, i remember it was 13th september yeah. my mom i that actually week i stayed with my dad that whole week i stayed with my dad and niki mimi lin sio tangi but nikiota i nika inakujanga after some things in a happen so that one week i was really dreaming so bad yeah, yeah. and i was like there was this time also nika dream that week a phone getting stolen i was like ah, it's just like a by mm. the way you know mm. so i stayed with him and uh, that saturday sunday we were going to samburu we were going the certain to a company mm. so uh, i told dad me na sha samburu to to go and hustle and he was, was like is it a must you, you go. go i was like yeah daddy let me just go but that period of time alikuwa na anaka stress like a certain distress mm. Ni kama maybe he was knowing because he told me I'm scared because I'm everything it's me you know like you're not like really employed your sister is schooling mm. your mother you know is ana we okay was mm. the breadwinner for mm. all of us mm. and i told dad ah, imagine everything will be okay mm. you kitu nakushtua because mm. maybe ni venye the everything is going up you know the lifestyle na kila kitu so he was just concerned yeah. remember akaenda kanichunia 
kaita huyo mtu mfanyikazi mm. went and plucked some avocados for me and then i i packed everything then i took a video mm. telling dad i remember that day asking him why am i feeling so bad when i'm leaving you Mm. Have a very good journey. Ah, neither come in Willie, you think I'm Willie. Oh, but bad you I even cried. And he told me it's body and blood. That's why you're feeling like that. And uh, I asked him. Ni, is it nikilia ni vibaya like when you cry is it bad akanambia don't cry you're going to feel okay i didn't know that like those it was like saying goodbye to me and i didn't know that was the last time you would see him yeah that was the last time I, you know i was so loving any any time i went i would just hug him and i would feel so well because i'm her daughter mm-hmm. and he's my father and i would feel like he's just telling me everything will be okay mm-hmm. you know he told me um and akakuja kufunga nini get and then kateremka mm. so he asked for someone akuja nchukue na bike cuz it was raining so angeweza kuni zidikisha mm. so he went i went for the tour we came back kama kawaida you would usually ask umefika poa have you arrived well mm. like are you okay mm. nikifika bado so that time everything was okay i rested that on sunday on, on oh, I rested on Monday mm. and then on Tuesday I on Monday night nika nikapigia mom mm. nikamwambia aje mom kwa ajili tu ile tu nimefeel tu hata niwasalimia kanambia it was around hapo hivyo saa 10 saa 10 mm. saa 4 eh saa 4 i mean 6 saa 10 saa 4 usiku kanambia si tuko poa hata tumelala na kesho ni tena inauguration ya Ruto mm. you know my mom's campaigning for our MP mm. and God's grace mm. akapata mm. So I wanted to tell mom I'm going to pay and kafil ah, is in you see ku acha niache kutukumsumbu acha tu ala ala ale jo ameniambia mm. so I sleep mimi nikalala kwa kiti kulala kwa kiti I woke up so early which is not issue of me waking up mm. so early mm. nikaamka mapema and then I called my my phone nika nika dial my dad's number I called him is not picking up around what time around it was around 8 or is it 7 mm. around 7 around your time 8 7 so this pick. is on tuesday sasa eh, on tuesday nikasema dada jani pigia simu maybe ni simu ameacha ama ana charge mm. alafu atanipata nifanye nini atanipigia cuz it was kawaida angepata missed call angenipigia so ni nikaka kiasi ata siku kaa sana mom called me akiniambia kwetu kumeibiwa Kwa, the reason why I was calling dad nilikuwa nataka kumwambia kama alijua kufungulia TV mm. <laughs> eh aone hiyo inauguration yeah, venye okay. ina happen mm. ya Ruto mm. so me mom called me told me kwetu kumeibiwa that was the word she used nika aka call a certain friend anakanga tu kwa building yenye naka mtu mm. arichi mm. akamwambia chukua anichukue mm. we twende tupatane hapo hivyo uh, kwa barabara mm. atakuja kitoka nizo za kasarani mm. we meet up mm. so they didn't tell me so he started dancing okay home we have cctv cameras kwa sababu we had an incident mm. where people were throwing like mawe mm. in the house kwa, mm. kwa house hiyo unaona mkijenga sasa eh, hii after tusha jenga tusha mm. jenga tumeka kulikuwa tu na watu like kijiji na kunga na wivu like people they don't like when you prosper mm. and so they will try all means to put you down mm. you know mm. so that time wakati kanga cctv na tukaikiwa kwa kwa my phone so nika check kwa cctv ioni mm. so on my phone kwa time gani eh, saa ngapi hivyo saa 4 hapo hivyo sasa saa 4 mm. na napata haiko saa hii mm. saa 3 mm. napata hai connect mimi nikapigia mwenye alitwekea anga nikamwambia mbona na una high connect akaniambia maybe ni steam ama nini mm. ya should intense mm. but mimi kwa roho yangu na feel hapana kuna kitu eh like why is he not calling like atakaye nikufungia mbo hata kama nikitumai meme happen anaezaomba mtu simu anipigie mm. anipigie so like inafika kwa barabara get, feel like getting wild feel like screaming 
so tunapatana na mom mom she doesn't want to tell me i guess she was knowing alikuwa shaambiwa alikuwa shapigiwa aksha akaambiwa maybe even in my pen so she didn't tell me all the way from na- from now the road to home i'm screaming then mkan kati temeka cuz i don't know nikikuja hivi sasa eh nikikuja na tetemeka miguu i feel i'm so weak na uliza mama simniambie yes simniambie tu kweli cuz i didn't want to imagine kama ni kweli ama ni uongo unaona i didn't want to ku join ku ku feel like hayo cuz it's something and hata sijaifikiria so mom there are people now calling her ni 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 i had on the phone saying at the fagai that that as in like panga mara sita panga mara sita i was like guy i felt so bad ikamuliza tumesema nini so he told mom just tell me the truth so this brother of my dad ndo alikuwa anaongea na mom your uncle sasa and my uncle aka kwa naongea na yeye no mama alikuwa anataka kuficha sana mpaka mm, mfike mfike but uh, an, anataka kuataki nisikie those kwa sababu if she feels like maybe nikijua something bad might happen mm. so this uncle and her shout and then they tell mom just tell me the truth so the uncle mama anipea simu naongea na yeye uncle ananiambia ati hayuko yani at felt as you well, ni kama si mama I miss him mama. I felt so so I felt on my worst. Ata siku anataka ku imagine it's true. Me kufika home now here. I find a gate is so open. It's so open clean and there are a lot of people heavy. And there is a police car. Nje. Getting inside. I feel bad. My dad was lying in a in a, a previous house before mm. to Jenge uko mm. helplessly. Of which they didn't want me to see him because they felt I'll have a lot of triggers. Mm. But me nika hepa because I really wanted to know. Nikazunguka kwa nyumba and then if if he runs on the other house to see kumwana. Lin I find my dad laying down. Kuna cat here. Blood, lot of blood. I'm not in I'm not Missouri. You know he's not feeling pain, but he's helpless. I didn't see any cat. So I'm like I just screamed and I felt so worst you know. It's the worst feeling. It's the worst feeling. <laughs> Do the part that I kwa nampenda sana. And I wanted to know what happened. So this guy after ameangalia kwa CCTV, lin sijaiweza kuona hiyo CCTV vizuri hadi wale like I sees no you unanga in bits. So dad anatoka kwa gate. Gisa alikuwa ameenda kuzidikisha ngombe. So akina kuzinikisha anarudi anakatu amechoka venye tu anakwanga amechoka alikuwa tu na nywele yake cuz i really enjoyed kumshika hivi so anaonekana akikuja now this person we mfanye kazi wetu alikuwa hata ni dada alimwandika yeye mwenyewe he was alikuja kutafuta job then said dad juu kwetu kuna majani chai mm. akampea akampea hiyo job akaangeuka so they were three Mm. It was in like uh, three months and connect for for three months yeah. he had a wife mm. she, he had a wife and alikuwa na mtoi mm. na the mother alikuwa na ka the other side ngambo ile ingine eh mm. ngambo ile ingine mm. and <clears throat> so anaonekana akikuja vizuri uh, ana ana anafuata dad mm. akiwa na panga mm. nyuma and I, I hear like the panga ali shapen kwa my neighbor next neighbor ndo ali shapenia huko anakuta vizuri like this guy was so nice to us like hata ungoi dhani he was nice yeah and that was that person who kifanya job anakulipa hapo hapo unaona i also remember you time before tani rudi 
eh ta alikuwa amemuitisha pesa ya mtoto wake alikuwa na misus mm. na dada dia kamkopesha do unaona mm. so meaning that really cared about welfare ya yeah. yeah, about him mm. so is it same cuz tumeandika watu wengi dada ameandika mm. watu wengi mm. it has never happened that kind of scenario so, alikuwa amekaa huko for how long 3 months 3 months eh yeah. So dad ndiye alimwandika kazi. Mm-hmm. Nia alikuja kitafuta. So dad mm-hmm. ndiye akampea kazi. Akampea kazi. Mm-hmm. So eh akakuja kaingia kwa kitchen. He looked at the door. <laughs> I don't know what was happened at that moment. But so, eh, it happened mom akakuwa kona kulikuwa na um, inoro they mm-hmm. came to kusababu hiyo scenario. Mm-hmm si kwa iski zanga mama kipea na story no nikasikia mean a new ni pangasita kwa sababu si kwa natanga mm. kusikia hiyo story mm. but mom nikasikia alikuwa amemgonga mpaka brain nilikuwa zimetoka yani niliona majuzi majuzi so i felt so bad like that was alipitia the worst na he was on alone hakuwa na nguvu this ta, this guy was tall so he went in he went in close akaenda akaingia eh akamfukuzi on the cctv yeah. we can see him yeah you can see him and like water dad. dad yeah and then we can see him coming out yeah. na panga mm. aliweka wapi panga <laughs> alikuwa tu na hivi ameshika tu kwa mhoma mm. so you know like asha am trust so he doesn't think me anything mm. alafu plus he knew well my mom ameenda inauguration mm. my sister watu wengi bali. around wameenda alafu eh alafu watu wengi sana wako kwa wa, 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 wako around mm. so angefanya hiyo kitu mm. akiwa na no mm. one would know mm. so nasikia ngama my dad and his cream as i told you that what two people are so bad ni kuna mtu alisema ati alisikia lakini akafeel ati anacheza na mbwa i'm like mtu akicheza na mbwa na na kugongwa do this cream the same and i have so much hatred and pain and pain and anger we did she wound in slay cuz i feel like they had but they didn't oh kuja kumrescue mm. And he was in so much pain. Six, panga sita, one, two. I guess I didn't cut a joke. I didn't. The only part I didn't want to hear was my baby Jesus. And then now it after my Maliza, and now I'm going to. You see, it's Mika. You know I'm a change. I'm Mika. Who can be change? Oga Mika no. Aguga Mika no. Then he asked his wife to like end it. So the wife was here. The wife was here so I So by the time ana dada nakuja cuz he's the only one we can see on the CCTV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By but, the time dada nakuja na ingia kitchen, mm-hmm. the wife was here. Was here and wakatoka. Mm. So, so akaindanga. Eh yeah, akaindanga. So the wife had kila kitu. The, the wife had kila kitu. Kwa sababu alimaliza ndo akaambianga wife aindange eh amfikie so this guy had all the time na alikuwa there is this boy alikuwa so close mm. with my dad mm. he used to come in uh, kukana yeye so alikuwa huyu this guy the shamba person mm. now alikuwa ametumaka kaboy mm. kadogo to the town mm. amlete kitu so mm. that akoshamaliza all what he, he had mm. planned to do mm. no ata asikwe rescued so alikuwa shatumako kaboy yeah. so he knew what he was going to do Ay knew what he was going to do he finished up akatoka akanyunga na dad simu i guess maybe you tell me kwa nampigia i don't know maybe he felt that's why he was calling i didn't i kid kwa kibi miangalie cctv ni una what's happening cuz i have never thought kitu kama hiyo plus it, ni mchana so you didn't think mtu anaweza fanya something by you know na So when I get up, it breaks doors. Ntaona with five doors were damaged. Zingine tukakuwa tumeweza ku repair zingine hatujaiweza ku repair ku repair. Akachukua screen head but my dad hapa nje aliingia aje. Aliingia tu na alichukua fungo za dad. Ni dad alikuwa nazo. Because dad usually had the keys on his pocket. 
<laughs> so ilikuwa nafunga and then he says mm. maybe akienda nje mm. so anaingia vizuri breaks in head all the time all mm. the time man. and in a way he feels so much pain cuz if someone was here at time the hadangi ko hai ngakuja mm. aka break akavunja milango eh so he took the screen he went to my mom's and dad's he bedroom eh eh ile tv ilikuwa hapo it was a 43 one mm. akaichukua he went to my dad's bedroom he stole his clothes and then to make it to us he took the jacket that i had bought for my dad it was his alikuwa his favorite one he took it na akaiva sitimi no nyesha na akaiva in samani enye dad alikuwa anataka kututumia rent mm. na upkeep mm. with my sister mm. akachukua na now he went to the garage mali tuko tunaeka akachukua bike the motor the motor bike yeah. mm. then he went you know he can like akatoka tu akatoka so when ya metoka and all these boy comes and finds my dad tell him he's still alive all this time oh. he's still alive come on bia ni makato then do have to say this meaning he was still alive mm. all of this can gonna find aka the boy went but after now he say this but akirudi he was no more he was no more he was no more was no more mm. so even sometimes feel pity for that boy cuz he so that on that bad state mm. love plus he was his favorite well close close friends mm. you can imagine all those triggers and mm. it really hurts yeah. like everything really hurts mm. what in anfanyanga na umwa kabisa is the anger with the neighbors The second thing is the pain that he went through. That thing is I wish this guy only stole and left my dad alive. Kwa sababu alimfungia na nje. No si toke. No si toke. No si toke. Then akukua na please yenye dad ange aweza kutoka. Cuz you can see blood stains hata kwa milango milango so was really yeah, he was trying to help to come out mm. even sometimes i felt a bit mad about that i, I was like that way didn't you even at least wait for me oh. i felt so because you know it's wait for me and in a way i'm like why oh, yeah, i don't know what he was saying aki aki and cuz i'm like He really felt so sorry for us cuz we told you to can he was very very yeah. disturbed cuz yeah. we are not like okay mm. and uh, as you can see there is that previous one week badai mm, uh, this brother of us alikwangana anasumbwa anapigia my sister this the brother yeah this the brother no before, before eh mm. akisema lazima nitagawiwa mm. shamba ya huku mm no where we staying mm-hmm. giving him threats and so i guess that's why dad alikwanga na jua ulikuwa unapata cuz he loved us so much alikuwa unapata most of the things she used to write mom alikuwa anaandika alikuwa anaandika mama title ya title did na andika mama ya shamba huku and it was more of a gift and kumwambia atu atuweke as a custodian kwa sababu ya watoto wake tusiwaite seka i told you she was like any time au mweleke msiwaite seka you know like now shawa tafuti i get it cuz he knew this brother her brother of ours is not good mm. no man ali kwanga ame actually mtinjia nga kitabu it was around 2018 even the he nyumba even when he meandiko as in your mchoro mm. there is this sketch mm. imeandikwa yote mama mm. so everything alikuwa anaenda and you know he was jua your time and you pass but he was mm. feeling kuna kitu yeah and she felt my mama akiwa nazo it's not safe because mm. 
she trusted well, they were so open to each other mm. like mom i felt like awangi she be like each mm. other that's mm. why i feel bad and me lean won't lie time to mend a cup of blood pressure i find my mom iko slightly imepanda juu and she was so normal cuz she is so stressed up mm. you know mm. so this her brother called him so he was like uh, saying then do akapigia now the brothers mm. to say is how kamwambia you know that land is thing in ni akamau so akuwa anataka mahali tutakaa pamoja cuz he knew he will fight as in mm. us we are ladies mm. and we don't have like another brother so mm. that's why he gave him his share mm. the other side mm. and left us like if onona mm. so <coughs> this happens unapata with all that even feel bad cuz after that now passed like now this have brother aka anza like is not even looking for more of justice anataka vitu anataka vitu sasa vitu za dad and mm. uh, they were not in good terms lean mm. for the longest time even i was How the one old is he 40 you are your half brother is 40 yeah, na anataka vitu za babako i'm like eh na anataka vitu za dad na yeye alikuwa like you know daddy called us as to kwa watoto wake and he said this yours this yours this yours mm. and whoever goes against it can you tampata ni anajua mm. so he's like like a curse like he said mm. kila mtu akae mm. kwa mm. nini yake mm. venye nimewapea you know because mm. he said like kuandika vitabu watu huandika huwa zinachomekanga imele mm. unaweza andika will, will na ichomeke ama ichenjiwe but muweke kwa your heart aliwaambia mpaka brother yako eh brother yangu tukiwa hapo akasema but muweke kwa your heart that was like maybe even six years ago mm. kitambo mm. akatuambia na muweke in your heart juu hapo maandishi hawezi futika yeah, yeah. nimewaambia mkae hivyo mm. na mushi cuz i'm like clean even in this land that daddy gave us mm. no me and my sister let's say he said like hata gawanisha mm. my sister if she feels hungry and niko na sukuma nimepanda she is allowed to akuja pime kama ni majani mm. kama na kuna yani tunachuna hivyo mahali yes. mtu anataka mm. he doesn't want to share and he said that mm hadi vitu zake isiwe ikaliwa chini like kuongelewa like mm. you see like cuz already alikuwa shapanga familia yake mm. you know and he built you guys a beautiful yeah. house yeah yeah that's why i always feel that he is le- more of a legend mm. he is. Way, he yeah, is. he's a legend he he's he a is. wise man mm. and that's why maybe i felt like he didn't give us ati akatuweka kila mtu mbali mm. cuz you know kungekuwa na dramas so you know after now this happens mm. sisi tunajaribu kukimbishana na justice mm. and now this a brother of mine and ana half brother anaenda ku, kungangana kuta, kuchukua vitu mali za dad mm. and uh, the other thing is that even when mom aliyoleka na dad those brothers and sisters of said ya mom mm. hawakutaka mm. like una feel like ni kama walikuwa na some nini mm. unaona ile una wanakata ni kama mm. nakuchukia ni mm. nini but my mom my dad showed my mom a lot of love and that's why this wakasti pamoja kama mbesi mimi nakupenda mm. na na, na tukuwa na watoto wangu oh, the rest don't how they don't they do they, they don't matter mm. so, but even i asked my dad in my channel if if your in-laws they if they, they really hate you but your husband and nakupenda can me that doesn't matter because babu kai na wow you are you staying with the husband the you husband. know and i feel daddy treated mom so well and that's why mama make an effort that mm. loin mm. no na adi am to ampaka to the demise yeah. so unapata now they have been wamekuwa like wanashikana pamoja pamoja now the brothers yes wasaidia well, mom saidia mom mm. you know i also have a record mm. you know this a brother not a brother the brother now of which even mm. that brother hawako na skizananga na dad mm. you know we were so open and dad used to open up everything to me akaniambia they were not good in terms and now he was calling me telling me imagine hata anipigi kuniuliza are you coping up how mambo ya justice tumefikisha wapi is telling me up, uh, at we should just sit down at na, na at now what dad alikuwa amesema unaweza iuokoa i don't know what i would say yes, you can turn it around uh, but we can mm. turn it around so mm. like what dad had said mm. we can now turn it around mm. equal in favor of now definitely equal in favor of him yeah. now what they wanted mm. and now i'm like how can that happen in the person who did that hata ajapatikana hata ajapatikana na plus dad already had alikuwa shapanga familia yake yeah, you know yeah. like those people were make too much too much too soon yeah and also remember tukiwa time ya mazishi 
the, this brother aka aka akaambia aka cuz they didn't even want kutuandika kwa hilo mm. mm. our names imagine and you are the watoto, watoto wake wako nataka kutuandika na hata wako nataka kuandika hata mom mm. so mom ask this brother like this da, my husband akiweza amka apate venye mnaongea hivi anaweza sikia you know what the brother said hawezi mm. hawezi fufuka Wow. That's what he said. Hawezi fufuka mm. and all of these time they were not even around uku. Ni sisi sana sana me and my friends not tulikuwa tuna tuko around you know the way family can mm. come along yes. they stay mm. nini nini mm. also have kwa sababu appear on my channel I do create content mm. unapata this half brother because I've never had any report mm. he's reporting now my channel I'm like why you mbona oh, unanita report kwa youtube I na report kwa youtube sasa ndo ifungwe I'm like what's wrong na that I'm trying at least to make it nione my sister at least nini yake na exam said yeah amendelea rent kwa sababu si mali mm. anaka mm. bado unaona analipa mm. in Mombasa mm. same case to me cuz you're not like really mm. employed mm. what's their problem instead even they ask even mom alikuwa amenanga by there kwa chief mama amenda alikuwa anataka mm. ku replace your line mm. kwa sababu bills za stima ilikuwa inakuja na line ya dad mm. you know this chief alikata kumpea alikata kumpea all the documents kwa sababu i'm so sure kwa sababu alikuwa me hongwa na mm. now this a brother ndo mm. tusisaidike i mm. felt like tukipata hiyo barua will do things mm. you know like mm. cutting off everything and he also said he was so nasty cuz he said like you didn't want anything to do with dad's wealth dad is not even rich aye who jifanya nasty nasty words about mm. him and that's why even i was like if they were saying that you would sit down and talk if Mwana my dad mwenyewe mwenyewe the hawakuweza kuelewana na na the brother mm-hmm. o, the son who mamai i'm so much concerned about justice with mtu tupatikane cuz you're not to like me safe. about mtu mm-hmm. tumefika wapi na huyu mtu so huyu mtu like the last time we went to the dci they mm-hmm. said like huyu mtu anawasha simu akizima Mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. so anaasha simu akizima na even ho, ile time nyenye alikuwa hapa alikuwa anga like anawasha like once in a week so this guy alikuwa ngasha wa babake yeah. nikisikia ya babake ndio maana akafukuza nguko na mamake na kirenyaga pe the head killed who told you this now okay you see when you go to and then you hear the rumors mm. like uh, you know sometimes rumors a bit na kwanga iko na ka ukweli yeah mm, mm. and it gives me a question mark for babu even wakiwa huku alikuwa na charge wangu na dad simu but alikuwa na washanga ones why dad yani would go and waite kwa majani na kona simu so they were f- at wako isbania that's how it's showing mm. but a uh, patikani of which i don't know about it's ju au ni au this ya kangare but i find they they're doing it so slowly kwa sababu kama they will kwa nataka kushika huyu mtu angemshika mapema mm. ju hadi number plate ya bike yenye alikuwa nilikuwa nisham tulikuwa tushapewa mm. the number alikuwa nayo mamake hakuwa ametoka by that time so mamake amehepa pia uh, uzin hiyo ndo after uh, it happened mm. kitu mm. i feel like alika kitu kama two days ama ni how many days mm. ndo akatoka so i'm like that time angeenda mshike ndo aweze kumshidogo mm-hmm. umesema mamake alikuwa anakaa ile ngambo ngambo ingine yeah, yeah, the yeah. other side mm-hmm. is she still there no alihepa alienda kwa sababu after all this happened mm. unaona like hakuhepa hiyo siku mm. so he stayed so i'm like If, if they wanted to help us na ku speed up everything wangeenda mchukue jua kimchukua we definitely this person calls we sure we ata, ata contact mama yake mm. no na angempata mm. but negligence so, bibi yake ya mpatikani apatikani ya alienda na mtoto pia alienda na mtoto hii pia ah, alienda na bike pia na bike yeah ah, ameenda mama yake pia ametoka huku ametoka huku so wako wapi actually i don't know but what they were saying ni ati anapatikana ati wako hizo side za isbania like mm. the bono border of kenya and tanzania kwa sababu wow. mama kwa sababu the wife was a tanzanian the wife ya huyu mtu ni the eh. id shows his kisi yeah this this i you know in a uh, uh, alikuwa anaongea kikisi lakini ni mluya mm. unaona so like i don't know ni kama pia alikuwa ashazoe so is like a serial killer like anajua mm. but uzuri hiyo id to retrieve ju uh, alikuwa ametoa nguo yake yeah akaacha so haidi ilikuwa ngapo hivyo so akichukua nguo za dad mm-hmm. aliacha yake. aliacha longi yake hapo na hiyo lomindo ilikuwa na id yake ilikuwa na id yake that's why we found the id wow 
sano akapati akakuelekea mm. ajapatikana you know so i feel like it's already 13 september that's when it happened we buried dad yeah buried dad on 23rd september mm. almost a month almost a month he has yeah a day shikwa and then now you're mourning and then at the other time you have this uh, relatives uh, rivalry mm. and then another time you feel like you are feeling so bad you know na like na feel una feel kuna pressure mingi you know at it becomes hard mm. ku ku heal mm. like kuna kai hivi kidogo your brother ame 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 kufanyia kitu mm. ama he calls mm. ama he tells, t- tells some, someone to call maybe a familia kika hivi kiasi una kwa triggered kwa sababu unajua huyu huyu mtu ameenda mm. you know like mm. i really feel so bad na i feel ju mama alikuwa anaenda hiyo na grishoni ya ruto me the government to do do anything we want to apatikane cuz dad even didn't enjoy your time your reina mama alikuwa ameenda huko juu yao kuona tu ku celebrate naona au just lead kwa sababu my mom when alitoka huko usiku na alikuwa na kuja kuona ukiapishwa and he was so happy na dad akampea hiyo ruhusa aende juu kama angekataa unaona hangeenda i would kindly ask you huyu mtu atista badikane ndo it's equally a starting healing part for me you know you know even the deputy president ajaribu tu anything they say any anyone that is going to watch this person so but we have all the documents any killer kit atuacha as in wamshike at least ni feel poor if we at safe at first time mm-hmm. so that i know ni nini ilifanya what ni nini ili what was the mission ama ilikuwa tu ni kuiba tu ni nini mission yake ilikuwa ni nini ama alikuwa ametumwa na nani angechukua tu vitu acha mimi like a feeling hangechukua tu kila kitu hata haribu kila kitu anchika basi amevunga dad aende ni kuje tu nipate babangu tu akiwa akiwa because dad was never sick you know you used to tell each other tutakaa miaka i would see my grandkids but he took my gem many ali took ali took i happiness you know lin siku hizo hata sionangi kitu ya furahi yani sionangi i feel people laughing and i'm like what's funny what's funny what's funny <laughs> Mom she's not okay as I'm telling you cuz yeah. anameza hizo I told you tulienda house akapatikana mm. blood pressure yake iko juu kwa sababu you know if you have people you're mourning your husband and then now you have this community talking maybe rubbish mm. but it's not lazima kutaongea wanasema nini about mom maybe wanasema ati ali take part unashindwa if ali take part ange mwa CCTV sionyesha ni evidence Unaona? Huo mfanyikazi hakujua kuna CCTV. Alikuwa anajua kupanguza. So hakujali. Kwa hivyo hakuwa anajali. So bwa nilikuwa napanguza na dad. Mm. Unapata sometimes utasikia hadi wanasema ati hadi alinataka kuuza shamba. Wanaambia <laughs> mami. Nasika, mm. Wana, so wanasema mama li play part. Ah so they say like mom played part in it. I'm like mom how would wow. you kill someone? Your father to your kids. The second thing unajua mama kwa job na huyu ndo provider. Who would you do that? The third thing is that mama na joko na CCTV hapa. Angengoa ndo kusikuwa na evidence yoyote. So I'm even happy kuna CCTV kwa sababu mama angekuwa akungekuwa nayo my mama angekuwa in very eh, and that's the happiness kwa sababu if mom angekuwa ni amekelewa we are left me and my sister so like unaona wanataka tu ile mteseke you know that feeling of kuteseka kweli you're not going mm. on mm. that's the happiness that's the happiness yeah. let's go back to mm-hmm. this person mm-hmm. ndio akuje hapa kazi mm-hmm. alikuwa anajulikana huko around huko around si vile mm-hmm. unaona kwa sababu alikuwa ametoka Kirenyaga ndo mm-hmm. akakuja huko mm-hmm. sasa kutafuta mm-hmm. so ni kama alikuwa ame skip mm-hmm. you, you understand it so that was it and uh, it's just so bad like i couldn't control everything mm-hmm. but i still believe that is god who sees and there is, for there, us. there is god there yeah. is god and and amusema 
everything iki happen god alikuwa hapo at that point he was no one at it up he was there ange angeachisha everything but he didn't stop it are you mad at god sometimes i feel so mad you am like if daddy angekuwa like oh my brother so angekuwa na tusumbua I love the other thing is that mama angekuwa na stress like say she feels so scared she can't stay here cuz she feels mtu anaweza kujam ham she is left alone she is left behind. alone alafu unaona alinsi ati tume fence nyumba ati like maybe mm. kuna electric ati mm. unaweza kakuwa ako mm. ako peke yake mm. azina ako save she is not and then now when you hear all this all this and then she still mourning her, hus- her husband then i make a nerve all those years Oh, it's, no, it's, 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 hard. Hard. it's hard it's hard it's hard it's hard, hard. It's hard. sometimes anaona nga akijaribu ki, kukuwa strong for me but i feel she is so weak hmm. what what will you remember what do you remember dad for i remember dad for always being there for me congratulations my daughter uh-huh. for having successfully uh-huh. attained your certificate uh-huh. in tourism uh-huh. wow even if the whole world would be against me he would stand for me a person who never judged me who alikuwa na care feelings zangu he was so concerned he would never hurt me how he loved family yake he loved and treasured his wife jodi kila kitu alikuwa ananunulianga mom you know like they lived so peacefully walikuwa the the portrait a very mm. good picture mm. of a family mm. as as in family was in a was in a was in a stand mm. the other part is that memories that we made kukimbia <laughs> love will appear yeah. daddy kuficha like daddy alikuwa anapenda bende kuvuta kasigara mm. once once mm. ile party ana anafuzima ndo ni simuone ile yeah. chomeke je alikuwa anajua nikimuona hiyo ni dawa na nipea Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, so sometimes mm. I remember hadi kuna time nye mama alikuwa anajua nitaenda kupata dad. Mm. Sasa mama kaanza kusema kuri 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 sasa ndo anaambia dad. <laughs> Anamsignal. Anamsignal una eh, kutwa zima. Una kutwa. Eh. Eh, eh. You know like oh. one of those any hadi sometimes nye nani ananunulia kitu kama hiyo bike and he would be like my daughter fanya bidi usiwai kwa sababu kunulia mtoto wako bike mm. akiwai kuitisha mm. and the fact that he told me sometimes yeah ku mix blood i don't know kama hi mm. ni kama aliona mm. sometimes he told me one thing i always remember he told me ku mix blood si poor mm. cuz he always bring rivalry mm. about mm. it no na no, no, and maybe that's why he kept on telling me and even telling my sister never mix your blood mm let it be one mm. you know and the memories of kunimbia happy birthday kun tuenda nge places na yeah. cuz most of my birthdays would share with my mom my sister yeah. and my dad yeah. pamoja yeah. alafu kumletia nga you know i usually love surprising my dad na mletia ka t-shirt i'm telling you na angetoa hiyo t-shirt yenye yako nayo na i buy thank you very much eh hey, welcome troza yeah nungu akubariki i mean yeah. yes na kapoa <laughs> kumletia maziwa mm. his favorite meal was mm. kuku like so those oh, yeah. those, those memories, memories sometimes na nazi mm. nazikumbukanga hivi mm. i feel i feel happy but yes. at the same time i feel sad sababu sababu ni tami sana and it's so funny and it's allowed yeah. and you know and i know his spirit will not rest mm-hmm. until we unajua kuna venye tu spirit ya mtu inasumbua anga watu yeah. mpaka uh-huh. uo mtu apatikane mm-hmm. i also know where I he god he is ai mimi najua atamsumbua alafu najua kitu fani ni eti dad hata ungejua but alikuwa anasaidia anga mpaka mama atakompikia giveri oh, yeah. imagine I feel mama has lost her soul mate. Her soul mate and then maybe at that age being a widow we just miss him so much mm-hmm. that I get to fanya to vitu and would be like it's okay he would be okay oh, with yeah. it and the advice me akuna time yenye ningekuwa mm-hmm. like kuna kitu na nitriga ni sema new nilikuwa najua nikimpigia hata everything will be okay i remember nikifanya tourism mm. kwenda kufanya exam mm. i would call him namwambia dad debu ombesha 
in angeombesha kwa phone in exam ningepita nilikuwa naona ni kama Mungu anamsikiza oh, and he would always tell me i'm blessed mm. au nimeku blessed yani kila time nikimletea i feel like you are blessed yeah yeah that's what i'm blessed and that's why sometimes na kuanga na anga sometimes na god sometimes na but at the same time I, i'm like everything happens for a reason mm. you know yeah. but of which that reason i might not know the eyes in gani but me umwamenga kila kitu kila siku make sense eh anikuwa ananiangalia nikimi sana mi, okay me i feel maybe spirits or maybe uh, maybe kuna watu zenye zinakwanga baya but me i feel like sometimes when i miss mm. him so much mm. me, I'm when I cry so much cuz about this time I do break down and I am like dad I want to see you today yeah. I can sometimes no nanga na nikuja tu kwa ndoto yeah. and not in a bad way yeah. cuz they know he can never mm. harm me mm. and I feel happy about it sometimes mm. anytime okay. I feel I feel so bad about it mimi humu ita namwambia kidadi kuta tu na ota tu na e and you know you are loud yeah. that, that was your dad yeah. still is your dad i still my dad you know yeah. i just i for me my sadness is knowing someone did this and he's still out there he's roaming still out there roaming making my mom sad our life ni kama mm. atu i mean lino na jodi kukula siku lang you know kutoka that what what happened on september mm. mimi nakula ngatu vijiko viwili and i feel i'm okay oh, yeah. sijaiweza kupata di weight nikakata mm. and then i was like kind of dark mm. with all that kind mm. of events mm. i love for lean me i would also ask those family members what to channel to in peace like what to channel to we mourn our dad so peacefully na we don't want even to get involved yes. with them you know sometimes i even feel like don't want to cook kwa ni meitaniyo na wao you don't want to even get attached to them oh, yeah. Yeah, let's just sisi tu tutafute mm. justice ya dad na atuache tu venye tuliacha mm. we'll be mm. okay and you made such a good resting place for him hey, oh my god eh hey, <laughs> it's the best you know i'm even saying like uh, nini kiji kinini vizuri kabisa hiyo mm. mchanga mm. I will make a, a, a beautiful home for him. Yeah, yeah. So that anytime we can just go and light candles because I will be was a Catholic mm. and always pray for him that Mungu amfungulie ange tu njia. As in I always believe that when someone kills someone ukijinenia uki, uki na blood thing makosa yako inaenda kwa huyo mwenye mm. amekulia. So I feel mm. like that is so pure. Mm. Alienda tu vizuri. Ni kama ndio tu vizuri. Alienda tu vizuri. Yeah, though he passed a lot of mm. pain. Yes, Jesus did. Mm. Alidungwa mikuki yote. Mm. Unaona so was feeling like he also passed the same Bro, thing. Yeah. But mimi na muombeanga kila siku mm. Mungu tutapatana kwa sababu yes. tutapatana na yeye. Eh, eh aende tu straight mm. to heaven. To heaven, mm. mm. Cindy. Mm-hmm. I want you to look at that camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoever did this to dad mm-hmm. if he's watching Mm-hmm. what would you want to tell him mm-hmm. and also how do you want the public uh-huh. to get involved okay. feel free to pour your heart out okay yeah um, yeah most of the time I get emotional maybe when i remember about dad and you who killed him just know you took my most favorite person my everything not akuna siku silia ni not a single day that passed that i don't shed tears of pain thinking of the pain that passed and then and having reasons of why of which swizi drew i don't know a siku i didn't know your reason why you killed him cuz that he had no issues with people eh Oh no, you know what you did to him? You didn't think twice. You did that bad act to you, to yourself. I might not able me I won't tell you that naweza kusamea. Cuz it's hard I can't I feel like cursing on your generations. I feel like I should pray you face the same pain that I faced. No feel when you gonna feel but I, I i can't miss zikusame here but one thing is i know is that i might not able weza kuomba each and every time but the tears that i make the tears that my mom makes cuz that left an emptiness to us it's not in vain those are enough prayers i know mungu zisikizanga
wherever you are zitokeze this land to nini accept your mistakes zitokeze tu at least nijue know the reason if someone sent you if someone told you you just talk it out maybe that time we might have something to listen to you you know wherever you are zitokeze tu and also anyone who is watching this video and uh, you happen to see this person or either you can help i'm kindly asking justice to prevail we mtu apatikane sana apatikane kwa sababu even news siwezangi kuona cuz i feel nothing is good and uh, to anyone as i said my sister is schooling and uh, not currently niko job first i would really want you anyone who is watching to subscribe to my channel shiko paul s h i k o and then paul in all my social media platform is shiko underscore paul uh, it will be one of the support because if you go see the videos that i create at least you get paid i support my family you know, it's a way of supporting my family because mm-hmm. my mom is not even employed or or even else if you have a job opportunity i did to a guiding and travel operations mm-hmm. and you're there you have a tour company and mm-hmm. you think you can help me because i feel like i just want to maintain that legacy and legacy make it kuenda huko hivyo juicy kuharaganya you know you can always contact me with my number 0712 and also if you are there and you want to support us i feel like I just want to make mom feel happy anytime she will and as aka kuja huko and she will be and she will feel safe at least i make her a perimeter wall with some electricity ju people are so bad in me but me i don't know kama kijiji yenu na kuanga na watu wabaya hivyo at least she will be okay and i know atakuanga ako safe and at any time she feels like coming in she won't have any problem you can always support that's that's my number mm-hmm. 0712698868 and also at least to manage to replace the doors that were broken. were broken and also help and weze kusaidia my sister on kulipa mm. rent na shule at least amalize ya cuz yeah she loves amebaksha yeah okay she is doing dip, she is mm. doing certificate mm. and then diploma mm. but asha fanya exam ya sat okay, so anafanya so diploma na anaingia diploma vizuri okay. okay. anafanya marine, marine time, mm. transport and logistics okay. and i feel she has that thing of my dad you know dad mm. alikuwa amesoma mpaka masters mm. i feel like oh, mm, mm, aki god <laughs> Yeah, he had masters and I also have photos of you aki graduate mm-hmm. alikuwa anafanya alifanya mambo na public health mm-hmm. if you want still to support you can still support na itakuja immaculate wanjiko njogona okay. and I'll be so happy yeah. I'll be so humbled mm-hmm. Lin. and also Lin, I want to thank you so much coming up kuja mpaka home okay. I'm so happy okay. at least the only thing that i want is justice justice for that yeah. and the last thing if you're my family members please just leave us uh, alone and you my half brother who is reporting my my youtube channel so that i can't post anything mm. just stop it because i'm not in your life like mm. i'm not concerned with your life yeah. or anything yeah. let me just mourn my dad so peacefully yeah. and justice to prevail apatikane that will mm. be my happiness because mm. i have only my mother left and i'm scared if anything happens to her ama hata gonjeke because kama hiyo venye ilikuwa ilikuwa reported she was stressed up you okay. know like in a, if, if i get stressed up she gets stressed up mm. times 20 mm. you know you mm. find it so and i want her to live long long life yes. and give her she will. Mm-hmm. She will. yeah i will be so happy about yeah. it mm. and the president if you see this the deputy rigiji i know mm, yeah. <laughs> please just help me oh you mtu apatikane na atapatikana i believe it i believe it he won't too. stay because even my sister imagine alishina akisema mm-hmm. like dad usilale mpaka oh, mtu apatikane. oh mtu apatikane hata mimi yeah. namwashina nikimwambia silale mpaka mm. oh, mtu apatikane mm-hmm. yeah i want just to make mm. dad's nini dad's name so high mm. and 
Mm-hmm. Always remember him as a legend. He is. Yeah, and that's why actually nimejiita nime Paul. Mm. Daddy was Paul. Was, that is Paul uh, Njoguna. Paul Njoguna yes. kama so yeah. that's and he really loved mm. his mom. Mm. That's why I was named after her mom mm. and it was she was mm. So I just took Daddy alikuwa anapenda mama yake sana na the uka, name and then I love dad so much nikachukua yeye that's oh, why Shiko. I usually call myself Shiko mm. Paul all and the I'm, best I think you will justice Lynn. will prevail just, I'll be happy Lynn. it will Anna. prevail Sana, I'm a Sana. believer mm-hmm. and I know it will prevail thank you and once again mm-hmm. deeply sorry mm-hmm. I cannot act as if I know what you're going through yeah, 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 I yeah. cannot pretend to feel the way you feeling mm-hmm. I can only acknowledge that it's not an easy journey yeah. but you continue holding on mm-hmm. you continue being the rock yeah, your mom and your sister Abisa. you continue being the spokesperson of your family yeah, yeah, I because will. I know mm-hmm. these are you know sometimes when such things happen what the devil wants is for people to remain silent mm-hmm. so that the truth may never come out, come out but yeah. that man is out there yeah and we don't know what he's going to if he was only here for three months mm-hmm. i'm like three months is such a short time mm. so can you imagine what he does in a year can you imagine what he is capable of doing in a year is a lot those are just three months yeah and he has left you without a dad mm. so imagine mm. in a year what he does to families around yeah and i wouldn't the country. want anyone to experience that kind know, of pain any family even my enemy i wouldn't I know. want you mm. know so keep at it yeah. what we are going to do on this platform yeah. we are going to join hands together mm-hmm. my people are watching oh my and God. i know they come through and they come through yani i i guys when you watch this like mm-hmm. i can't thank you enough for the number of times that you come through and as i said mm-hmm. when i was doing the introduction you are the reason sometimes i get the courage to even cover such cases because i know the end mm-hmm. is going to be justice yeah, yeah. the end is justice will prevail my name is Yvonne yeah. Ndo Jugona yeah. yeah and my message that i have for Fred because he's the person who killed dad god is watching and wherever you are we are going to find you and you know as uh, they are in the scripture they normally say that there are some things you can do and god you know <sighs> it's okay god <coughs> can punish you know your generation mm-hmm. and you know it hit me so hard the time i was traveling from you know home to mombasa nikuwa nimezea you know my dad to give me credit and that time sikuwa na credit and i couldn't call mom and it hit me so bad you know your dad is not there mm. and dad ndo alikuwa amezea where are you mefika wapi is everything okay mm-hmm. and trust you me it pained me and i mm-hmm. cried so badly and i told god god don't let this just go in vain and let dad be the last person this man kills because apparently he killed his dad mm. and another man in Kirinyaga county mm. and if someone who This is someone who is able to kill his own dad. Yeah. When anaweza fanya hivyo even to me, mm. to you or to anyone. Mm. And even the people where whoever he is, the people around him, they are not safe mm. because they don't want any family to suffer how we have suffered. Mm. The tears trust you it's very very much painful. You can't explain it how we normally feel and you know the 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 memories and how and the, you know I, I did see my dad at the morgue. Mm and trust you may normally see you know his face and how he slept at just a lifeless body there <laughs> he, he never did well because trust you me if he wanted to steal trust you me and game fungia mahali and achukue vitu and he leave mm. because dad before kateroho it took like you know one hour maybe 30 minutes yeah. evo the villagers surely trust you me at a wow God will do some because yeah. they had trust you me they had him scream and they did nothing mm-hmm. they did nothing me trust you me I'm always bitter and if it's so much it's pain it pains me and they have the audacity kujo kuambia tulimsikia kipiga nduru then you never you never turned up you know what's not happening yeah, yeah. so mm-hmm. god is watching and please whoever will help us kindly the police please let it not slide who you to trust you me asikae tu nje please 
what a shiku and then we get to find the answers who i did this mm-hmm. now if you know the the uh, there's this you know they they say there's this pardon mm-hmm. mercy mm-hmm. which the government or the mm-hmm. president grants mm-hmm. them if this person is caught because i believe he's going to be caught and ataka kwa jela i pray you know that he never gets to to to, to get out mm-hmm. he never gets free and for the fam- for our family members who are disturbing us this is not the right time trust you me it's it, it's, it has not been easy and you know there's this certain anchor of mine mm-hmm. mwenye you know after mama memuliza mbona kwa yulo juu kutaka jina yangu yandikwa mea watoto akamjibu vibaya and then mama kamuliza what if you know juguna amke sahi you know alimrolia macho na akamwambia haizi fufuka na kiku haizi fufuka arudi mm-hmm. you know mtu ambi mtu yes we know arudi but you don't do that to someone honestly mm-hmm. Mwambi ivo what would you want to tell mom and your sister okay you know mm. you guys they love you so much and you have to stick together and you know be there for each other they always got your back mom and i also got your back because you guys even dad when he was alive we always got each other's back we used to involve each other in decision making like even in this beautiful home mm. i designed it me oh. <laughs> yeah and the colors ni mom kama ni dad dad alikuwa zile za nyifanye nini venye mnataka nyifanye nini you know and you are going to be a mungu mungu yes. mungu mom venye nakwambia anga i normally tell her this in kikuyu gani yego kuhubariri Yes. God will grace you. Exactly. Mm. Eh, don't worry. I know ni ngumu but we are strong and I normally tell you my sister normally tell you most of the time God does not burden a soul more than it can bear. Oh. Yes, and we take a day at a time. Mm. It's very hard and we keep on praying for that because he was the best best dad. Yeah. And trust you even at the eulogy nilimwandikia you know I would still choose you even the next life to be my dad. Oh. And he's watching over us, ma'am and we are strong yes yes god will yeah. come through for us amen yes and thank you so much Lynn. it's okay yes na ito esta wa vera jogona kama mimi die baby ya derit ponjona kama mwenye aliwawa na mfanye kazi wetu na tuliko tumekaa na for 3 months tuliko tumekaa na kwa amani akuku na vurugu hakuna mtu alikuwa mzuri na mpole kama ye alikuwa anaongea kikisi lakini nirudi kujua ye hakuwa mukisi mm alikuwa muluya ningetaka kumwambia mahali yako mkono ya serikali ni mrefu atapatikana at, mahali yamejificha tena Mungu anaona kila pahali hata kama ako kwa shimo ndani yeah. Mungu atasaidika atatusaidia na tutaweza kupata justice yeah. ya bwana yangu ndipo sa roho zetu ziweze zikaturia juu sahi atuko sawa jua tutapata justice yeah. so ndio naomba kile mahali kila mtu wako mwenye ako na hiyo uweso hata akiwa wapi atusaidie hii familia wenye nimeachwa na watoto hao wangu wawili ndio tuweze hata kunini kukubali Paul arrest kwa kwa amani juu saa hii atujamuachilia ili kusema ukweli mm. juu atujapata justice mm. sasa mimi ningetaka ninge kusema hii serikali ya ya wili ya muruto juu hata hiyo siku ilifanyika hiyo kitendo nilikuwa nimeenda in relation ya ya, ya ruto mm. so ningependa tu hata hii serikali juu hata mheshimiwa monyoro wa kigumo ndiye alikuwa amenialika mahali yako tu anjaripo kusaidia ndiposa tuweze kupata justice mm. eh, upande huu mwingine ningetaka kusema kuhusu familia hapo 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 na ya mzee wameanza kutusumbua juu hata ile atbatu atutukua tumemuzika bwana yangu walikuwa wameanza kutusumbua kutulisa ni hivi shamba imeandikwa nani nini mko nayo yani maswali ambayo ilikuwa inaniokopesha mm-hmm. after kumuzika hao mabrothers wake hawanjawahi kutupigia simu hata siku moja kutulisa justice ama ndanda zake ile kitu mimi najua siku moja walipigia huyu msichana wangu first mm-hmm. born immaculate wanjiko mm-hmm. kumulisa ume hii story una ina thread kwa 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 youtube mm. si ufute nju unatuaibisha kama familia mmeshikwa kamuuliza nina muaibisha na tunatafuta justice justice mm. ya dad haya mm. kamgombanisha naye naye shikwa kasima simu yake haya kuna ndugu yake mwingine na ni yanko ya kina shiko mm. mm. anawasumbua ili aungewaiona akiwaambia hata kama hiyo shamba hii ya kenyona mahali saa hii tunakaa mm. juu nimeandikwa mimi anasema anaweza pandilisha ati hata kama nimeandikwa atunyang'anye 
airithi venya nataka mm. sio rasima ati tuirithi mm. tena tukona huyu half brother ya kina shiko njuu bwana yangu alikuwa amewa bibi mwingine walikuwa amekaa 10 years mimi tumekaa na for 24 mm. 24 years mm. tumefanya wedding ya kanisa catholic huko mm. kangari parish niko mm. tulifanyishwa arusi na kuna swali moja nataka kuulisa huyu kama ujuu wate anatusumbua sana hata amenifanya nikatoroka kwa mbomo wakati tulifanya arusi ya kanisa na ilikuwa daylight kwa nini hawakumja wafunge arusi mbona saa hii na amekaa south africa saa hii akona 42 years mbona anakuja kutusumbua na vizuri bwana yangu akiwa hai alimuita na akamwambia shamba yako iko maera na hiyo shamba hata saa hii ndugu ndugu ya ndugu ya bwana yangu mm. ndiye anakaa mm. na hiyo shamba ana anajua anakaa anasema gaya anajua sio kwake ni kwa ndugu yake yani ndugu yake ni huyu theret njua anajua amepea mm. kama huyu hata kitambo akunje kuaga two weeks ya last month ngo alimpigia simu akamwambia unajua hiyo shamba unakaa ni yangu na nilipatia kama huyu akamwambia yeye mimi najua mimi ni mkimbizi hiyo shamba sio sio yangu mm. ni ya kama huyu mm. so naulisa kama mbona unatusumbua kutuara kutuharashi huku nyumbani ukikimbisha hata kina siko mpaka wana wana salamu hata maaskari wanakuja kuwaokoa kwa nini usiridhike na kile ulipewa na, na, na papa yako mm. sisi tumeridhika na hii shamba ya kinyona na hatuna haja na ya shamba yako ya huko pande sana ivasha mm. mahali panaitwa maera mm. mimi naomba kamau ukome kunisumbua mimi ninatafuta justice ya bwana yangu tukiwa na watoto njue ndio mkubwa ungekuwa huwa kwa front line kujaribu tutafute justice tukiwa pamoja mm. lakini mambo ya kutusumbua kituandikia ma message kwa youtube ukisema wewe ni tajiri uko na magari mingi na mashamba siuridhike na chenye uko nacho hutatuona mm. tukikunja kukusumbua mm. si tumeridhika na shamba ya kinyona na wewe uridhike na yako ya maera mkiwa na na maangozi zako njuu ninajua wewe unaenda ukiwapea pesa ndio washinda wakitusumbua kutuambia watatunyang'anya shamba how comes shamba imeandikwa esta wawira njuu na kamau inawezaje ku title deed kupandilishwa iandikwe mtu mwingine na mwenye aliandika aliaga na shanga na shanga njameni tena unaona huyu bra tuko onele na dad mmoja anaitwa Samar Dwatiki Dwati Kamau anakaa sahemu za kinango huyo ndiye tu tupigia kila siku kutuliza mama ima mko wanje mnaendelea nje justice ya, ya papa ime amefika wapi mandugu zake na mandanda zake na pia kama huyo have brother wa wa, wa shiku wa kina shiku hawajawahi mm. kutupigia mambo yao ni kuuliza tu assets kwa hivyo najiuliza kwani kamau mkiwa na mabrada za, za, za papa ima kwani mnajua chenye kiliwa papa ima juu sisi tunashanga tumefikwa na mahali tunajiuliza kwani mlijua chenye kilimua nataka serikali munisaidie watoto wako ungetaka kuambia nini nataka ningetaka kuambia akina mm. imana ima, <laughs> imana na ivon mm. nimezoea kuwaita hivyo mm. ningemuomba venye papa yako alituacha venye yako anatuficha chochote kile akifanya mm. sisi tukai hivyo kwa amani kama kuna kitu tunataka kufanya kama ni jambo mimi nataka kufanya na muongeresha tuna, tunaongea pamoja ndio tuna, tunapata jawabu mm. sio mtu atiafanye mambo peke yake mm. na tukikaa hivyo najua Mungu atakaa na sisi hata saa hii najua tu bwana yangu ni Mungu baba yenu ni Mungu na hivyo ndivyo naamini mm. eh amina. amina na tunaamini mm. na tunajua tutapata endelea kujipatia moyo mambo endelea kujipatia moyo Asante. najua Asante. mambo ni magumu lakini mm. endelea kujipea mo, moyo moyo pole pole tu ivon sawa mm. pole pole mshikilie mam kabisa na msimu wache umshikilie sawa okay So if you are watching this episode first things first and you have seen this man his photo has been on the screen for yeah. a while now yeah. if you've seen this man somewhere or you are next to this man or you saw him this morning or you will even bump and to him yeah. Shiko Paul's number is here but yeah. most importantly I'm going to put the DCI numbers yeah, here yeah. also the DCI headquarters we've solved so many cases together and I know even this one is not going to defeat us let's all scream let's all raise our voice justice for Paul Njuguna yeah. justice for Paul Njuguna people yeah. that's hashtag justice for Paul Njuguna wherever you are watching this from please 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 hata kama it's not 
in your region hata kama ujui hii familia yeah, just yeah, take yeah. your phone and scream and say justice for Paul because I know when we come together so many things happen yeah, yeah. again our DCI are uh, people we I'm coming to you once again asking you to help us solve this case because as I said when we come together good things happen and also if you are watching this and you're in a position to offer Shiko a job in the yeah. tourism industry uh, please do if you are able to come through for the sister matters education the number is still here on the screen yeah. uh, reach Shiko through that number and even if you are able just to talk to the mom send her a message of you know hope and because what we are looking for right here is hope something yeah, yeah, to yeah. keep the family going uh. mm -hmm. the number ya Shiko is right here mm -hmm. she's the family's contact person and you can get through Uneza pata yeah, anyone, anyone you want through this number mm. to the extended family. Mm. I see this a lot in families, especially in our country. Mm. It's like death makes us see people for who they really are. Yeah. It brings the faces zawatu zinatokeanga after death. Mm. That's when you get to know who people are. It's not time to start demanding for what you think it's yours. It's time kushikana na familia and get justice. If truly you loved this man, if truly even to the half brother, this was your father yeah. whose blood you carry, then I think of importance right now is to ask for justice. Huh? And then izo vitu zingine za familia munaeza zisot mm -hmm. after we find this this man. As you've heard guys, Ashiko has her YouTube channel. It's also, the name is also here on the screen and also it will be pinned on the comment section together with her contact details. Go out there, show her some love and let her know that you care and let her know that you care. Thank you so much for watching. I hope we find justice and I hope together we can continue impacting the society one step at, at a time. Thank you.